Welcome back to the free podcasting course. I'm Nicholas, and in this part, part two, we're gonna talk about the first step in the five-step process I have for starting a podcast. And so step number one is to define your idea. So let's look at that in a little more detail. What does it mean to define your idea, and why is this an important first step? Well, first of all, you really wanna figure out what you wanna do with your podcast before you start getting technical and building anything or organizing the the cover art and getting all the, the audio stuff figured out because going back to when I was first starting, this was actually a big stumbling point for me and I procrastinated a lot because I felt like nothing was perfect and I wanted everything to be perfect when I launched. Uh, but I think if I would have done a little bit of a better job really trying to answer these questions that are on the screen, uh, I probably would have had a more successful early uh, launch, or I may have launched a little earlier because I did procrastinate quite a bit. So number one, you want to really start to think, why do you want to be a podcaster? And we talked about that in the previous video briefly. Is it to sell more stuff? Is it to become a thought leader? Is it to connect with your audience or maybe something else or maybe all of those reasons? But you want to start with why, as Simon Sinek says in uh, the famous YouTube video and, and his book, Start With Why. You really want to figure out what's, what's your why because that's going to help motivate you when things get tough and when you're uh, you know, when it's eight o'clock at night and you have to get an episode out and you're tired, you have to go back to the reason of why you started your podcast. So really think about that. Also, who is in your ideal audience? You can't just have a podcast that's going to appeal to everyone. For me, for instance, I try to focus on marketers, uh, growth marketers, people who are in the sort of the uh, agency world who want to up their their marketing toolbox and their skills. So it's a very uh, specific audience, and I know who I'm talking to every time I record an episode. So you want to figure out who is that audience for you. Number three, you want to figure out how will your show be structured? What is the format and the frequency? And in the previous video, I talked about how I have different types of shows. I have my interview show, Growth Marketing Toolbox, which is more of a longer format. Then I have Landing Page School Podcast, which is very short, 20, 20 minutes or less, and it's just me giving a uh, an insight on something to do with landing page optimization. And then there's other shows like the Growth Marketer Podcast, my newest podcast, where it is very short, and it's sort of like the news of the day, things you need to know to start your day. So there's a whole bunch of different formats of shows. Those are not the only type, but you want to think about what is the format for your show, interview, solo, co-host, whatever, and how frequently do you plan on producing episodes? At a minimum, I recommend at least every couple weeks just to sort of stay on people's radar. Uh, but there's been times where I've produced episodes every single day of the week, Monday through Friday, and I certainly saw an uptick in how my podcast would climb through the ranks uh, or the charts when I produced more content. So if you do produce more content, as long as it's quality content, that's going to help you grow your show, but you want to do so in a way that's very consistent. So think about the frequency of how often you're going to publish. And if it's just once every two weeks, that's fine. If it's once a week, that's probably more common. And if it's every day, that's possible, but it is very, very difficult. Let me tell you, even me doing my three day a week show is very, very difficult. So uh, make sure you understand what, what you're in for if you go that route. Also, another question you could think about early on is what other podcasts are similar to your podcast or the idea that you have for your podcast? Because you want to study those audiences, study those hosts, and find out what are they doing and how can you be different? Because you don't want to just copy another podcast. You want to stand out. You should also think about the name that you want to give your podcast and put a lot of thought into this. Do some research. Make sure it's not being used anywhere else. Um, give you a quick story. Back in the early days, Growth Marketing Toolbox, my very first podcast, was actually named Inbound Unboxed, which was a terrible name, but I really, I don't know. I thought it had something to do with inbound marketing, and it was a, uh, we were unboxing different marketing tools, and looking back on it, it was a terrible name, uh, so I changed it to Growth Marketing Toolbox, but the change took a lot away from the show because people had to become familiar with it again. So make sure to pick the, the right name for your podcast from the start. And last but not least, this is also related to the name, try to get the .com or the .co of your podcast name. So for instance, I have growthmarketingtoolbox.com. Even if you don't plan on building out a full website, you can use it to redirect people to your Spotify listing or your Apple podcast listing. So it's a good idea just to have a domain. And I always recommend getting either a .com or a .co. So think about the domain name, uh, and that's going to help you figure out what your podcast name is going to be. 
So those are the things to think about. Uh, once you have answers to these questions, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is create what's called an elevator pitch. This is from the whole world of startups and uh, just sales and marketing. Uh, but an elevator pitch is basically the idea that if you had only the amount of time it takes to get uh, on an elevator from like the first floor to the 10th floor with like a, a, a an investor who you wanted to pitch your product or your service to, uh, what would you say to them in 30 seconds? So in, in essence, an elevator pitch is like a 30 second pitch of you explaining your podcast in this case. So you wanna come up with an elevator pitch. So for instance, for Growth Marketing Toolbox, my elevator pitch is Growth Marketing Toolbox is a weekly podcast series exploring the best growth marketing tools and technology. You'll hear candid interviews with the folks who make, market, and use these marketing tools. And just to give you another example from one of my favorite shows, Masters of Scale with Reid Hoffman, who's the founder of LinkedIn, uh, his elevator pitch for Masters of Scale is, Masters of Scale is an original podcast hosted by Reid Hoffman, co-founder of LinkedIn, and investor at Greylock. In each episode, Reed shows how companies grow from zero to a gazillion, testing his theories with legendary leaders. So I like how it's sort of a playful yet short uh, headline. He has that social proof in there about him being the co-founder of LinkedIn. He uses the word gazillion, which is really interesting. Um, so I think that's a really good example of an elevator pitch. So come up with your elevator pitch. That would be the next step uh, in this a process where you're defining your idea. So that's gonna do it for part one, where we talk about defining your idea. In the next video, in part three, we're gonna talk about the second step, which is designing your brand. So I will see you in the next video.